Bulgarian scholar. So, Julian Schurbel from Austria, 25 years of age. Step up for him from B final finishes in the lightweight men's double early in the season. Andreas Strizner also been in the lightweight men's double, now in the lightweight men's single. Gabby Suarez from Italy took a gold medal in Lucerne in the lightweight men's double with Pietro Ruta. Now back in the single. Antonius Papa Constinatu in one of the centre lanes had a great regatta here. He's one of Greg's picks, race to watch, Rakra Hravat. So exciting to watch him race. High rate of striking. And uh, the Slovenian has got, oh, Penev has had to withdraw, hasn't he? Lazar Penev, there's only five scholars in this race for medical reasons. Shame to see Bulgaria miss out on a final place, but Penev is not racing this lightweight men's single skulls final, so there are only five crews. Easy to spot Gabby Suarez is the only one in a white Felipe. That's right, slightly jumpy water at the start. You can see the waves around the crews, the boats as they were sat on the start, but um, you know, dynamic start. High ratings, I'm sure we're expecting right across the course here. Um, I know uh, Slovenian scholar Reko Harat Fravat will keep that rate up the whole way. Um, let's see what goes on across the rest of the course. Yeah, it's hard to tell who the early leader is. It might be Suarez going toe to toe with Andre Struzner from the Swiss double skull. Suarez in the white boat. And uh, so tough for Italian lightweight scholars. You've got Oppo and Ruta in the lightweight men's double skulls. We'll see them come down later on today. But it's so tough for any of those lightweight men's scholars to force their way into the program. Gabby Suarez, the best of the rest in this race. Uh, Papa Constinatu of Greece in the bronze medal position as we go through the first 500 metres of this race. Yeah, an interesting uh, Gabby Saws there in the Italian boat front. He almost sort of rushes that last bit into the catch at the beginning of the stroke, doesn't he? It's sort of a real acceleration into the catch. He's yeah. That's interesting. That's a kind of um, more more a sort of uh, Swiss thing with Ian Wright, the New Zealander coach, in trying to phase the the sort of run into the catch with the lock on of the legs. It's quite a difficult technical manoeuvre to accomplish. Yeah, I mean, it's the sort of thing almost in your brain. You're thinking, let's put the blades in the water while I'm still coming forward. Um, it's not really going to happen, but it's kind of an interesting way to sort of think. The blades. Are the handles are coming up, the spoons are kind of coming down to the water, and you're still coming up to the catch um, so that you miss as little as possible. So there's Gabby Suarez going toe to toe with Papa Constinatu, but the leader from Italy, you can see he's got 50 centimetres over Andre Struzner. Great race this for the gold, silver, and bronze medal. Papa Constinatu is coming back into the frame, the Greek sculler. Having a look there, just to check where Gabby Suarez is. You're doing all right, mate. You are coming back. I think your bows might hit the front as we go through with maybe 750 metres to go. Greek Skull has been very strong in this event. Uh, brilliant, brilliant race we've got here. Not 7.50 to go, 7.50 gone. Gone, sorry. Still 12.50 yeah, yeah, to go. Good shout, thanks. There's still plenty of sculling left to go in this race. All sorts could yet happen. Look at those rates. For Avat there, you see him. He's keeping it above 40. He's giving me what I asked for. It's 41 strokes a minute. But it's not working for him at the moment because we've got three in a line. And, uh, yeah, the outside scullers are being fairly well dropped by the pace in the middle of the course. Andre Stuzner was in the Swiss double with Jan Schoeble. His place got taken by Raphael Island. Swiss double looking to score a medal in the lightweight men's double skulls. There's a look back in the field. Julian Schoeble from Austria. We might get a look at Rakro Havat, who's over on this near side. Finding the going tough in lane five. This is our leader, the Greek sculler, coming up towards halfway. 
And um, yeah, I mean, all these colours keeping the stroke rates up. He's at 36 strokes a minute. He's got a lot of body block, the Brig Skull, hasn't he? He really has that rocked over position at the front end of the stroke. The other Skullers may be more upright at the front end, and he's really using that body. There's Rakor Havat, Julian Scherbel from Austria. Yeah, he's 38 strokes a minute. So it's interesting, the, the Skullers with the highest rates, the ones on the outside of the course and the ones furthest behind. Maybe if it was a tailwind day, it might be favouring their approach that they're taking to it. In fact, it's the scullers in the middle, as you say, Martin, with that body rock that you like yeah. that are being affected. I'll tell you what I like about it. He's not really got full compression. The, the shins aren't vertical because he's got a lot of length. He's a, 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 a tall man. He's got a lot of length, Papa Consonato. You can see him there. And that long body that he's got, which means that he can put those legs in a really efficient position on the drive face. Yeah, as you say, those legs look like they're in a sort of leg press position. Uh, he, you know, he doesn't get into a weak position with those legs. He keeps them where they're really strong for the middle of their drive and uses that body that he's got to rock that over and get his length from the body more than from the legs. Nice comparison, the Italian scholar. Yeah, much more upright from Gabby Suarez. He is now just eight metres off the lead. And much more slide length. So he's actually getting his backside almost up to his heels. He is. So he's getting maximum length out of the slides, as opposed to, as you said, the Greek scholar, who's getting his length much more from his body and keeping his backside a long way from his heels. Yeah, I like what the Greek scholar's doing. I think, you know, I'm, I mean, my back's not up to it these days, but I like the way he just rocks over from the back end, gets his body really over, quite close onto his knees, and then shins not quite vertical as he comes through with the 500 metres to go mark. Yeah, interesting contrast in styles there. They're pretty much doing the same stroke rate, but they're getting it, getting their length in a slightly different way. Antonius Papaconstinatu, coached, overseen by Giovanni Postiglioni, the Italian consultant working with the Greek team. He'll have his own Greek language coach, but uh, Postiglioni will be really pleased with what he's seeing from the 23-year-old. They're into a real tough bit of the race now, still 350 metres to go. That's more than a minute in a single skull. Um, let's see if the Italian sculler can find something with a step on in rate. Um, they're both still at 35 strokes a minute, these two leaders. Um, there's a lot to be done. If you're Love to be the shot. one to win that medal waiting for you at the finish line, it's going to be hurting. They're going to be digging deep. 2.50 to go now. Who's going to take this one? Papa Consonato with Hellas on his back. Gabi Suarez coming back. We're in the white boys now. Has Papa Consonato done enough to hang on? But he is the under 23 lightweight men's single champion from Rachiche. And uh, that experience will hold him in good stead as he's now in the senior edition of this event. Stretching out. Well, they're coming to our camera position, as you say, stretching out. We've got the stroke race there. He's still showing the length, 36 strokes a minute, sticking to his plan, sticking to his way of sculling. It's working for him. He's holding that little bit of clear water over the Italian sculler. We're coming down now towards the line, and it looks like it's grease all the way. Yeah, a very impressive skull. That clear water distance over an athlete, the quality of uh, Gabby Suarez. Papa Consinatu takes the win. Well done to him. Gabby Suarez, silver medal all the way. Rakra Havat just coming into the picture there, trying to come back on Julian Schobel from Austria, but he's not quite done enough. He did get through the... Uh, who was it that he got through? Yuli, not Julian Schobel. Andrew Schnurzner gets that medal. Yeah, we see the Italian sculler there. Um, he secured that second place. Um, Shrizna's going to get the bronze. Yeah, 